Good day, Shorthorns! I'm Clarissa Gomez. And I'm Alison Camacho. And, and this, this is Shorthorn, Shorthorn News. out to anyone that is interested in joining UIL. There will be a meet and greet with all UIL coaches on Tuesday, September 17th after school in the library. If you are interested in joining UIL, or even if you don't know what UIL is about, then please make sure to stop by on Tuesday after school in the library. All events will be explained by the coaches and signups will begin as well. We hope to see you there. Attention all National Junior Honor Society members. You must turn in the required forms given out at the last meeting as soon as possible. Also due as soon as possible is the money for the club shirts and the teddy bear for the children who have gone through tragedy. Please turn in everything to Mr. Salinas as soon as possible. Our next pep rally will be next week on Monday, September 16th. Tickets will be $3 and will be sold in the morning. Students, we will begin Monday with 7th period first, so please make sure to report to your 7th period class on Monday morning. The one and only Troutman Gentlemen's Academy is now accepting new members. This is open to any 8th grade boy who would like to join. Please go to room 108 with Mr. Sanchez after school anytime this week. I plan we will be having a meeting today after school in Portable 3 with Mr. Rodriguez. Homecoming information will be provided, so it is very important that you attend. Attention all band members, the chocolate fundraiser money is due due. You must turn in all money by Friday. The payment needs to be made online through our school's online payment system. Please see Mr. Garcia or Mr. Lira if you have any questions. Tonight our mighty Shorthorn volleyball teams are set to take battle on two fronts. Our TMS gym will be hosting our blue team versus the United South Leopards. Meanwhile, the Washington Bobcats will host our orange team in their gymnasium. Tickets are $2 for adults and only $1 for the students. The game begins at 6 p.m. Please go and support our team. We should always feel safe at school. Threatening to hurt or kill someone is a crime. Making threats in person or on social media can get you into serious trouble. And spreading rumors can be just as harmful. It's no joke to show pictures of weapons or make threats to hurt or kill someone. If you see something that affects your safety or your school safety, report it immediately to a parent, school official, or law enforcement. If you see it, if you hear it, don't spread it, report it. This week is our first CBA week of the school year. Students, please make sure to study your notes and reviews and get a good night's rest. Let's conquer this first stepping stone to star. You got this, Horns. Reminder to all students, attendance is very important. You must be here every day because every minute counts. If you are absent, you must turn in all excuses to the attendance office. Remember, students with perfect attendance will be entered into a raffle for a prize. Reminder to everyone, do not be tardy to class. Four tardies is all it takes to earn detention on Friday after school. Dress code violations will also result in Friday after school detention. No buses are provided for detention, so you will need to have someone pick you up afterwards. Avoid the hassle, be on time. TMS Spirit Socks are available for sale online for only $18 a pair. Pop sockets are also available for sale for only $8. Show off your school spirit and order online today. This month is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. 
To show your support, you may wear yellow shirts on every Friday of this month. School violence is a national tragedy that cannot be tolerated. And neither will the anonymous terroristic threats. School safety is no joke. Threats of violence are disruptive and create an unsafe environment in our schools. Anyone caught making false threats will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. It's considered a third degree felony and if convicted could be punishable by imprisonment of two to 10 years and fined up to $10,000. A terroristic threat conviction will ruin your future. Consider the consequences. This concludes our Shorthorn News broadcast. We hope you have a great day. And now, we'll leave you with your moment of horns. Everything is good and brown. I'm here again with a sun.